guys, I got a couple of early Christmas presents from some very kind viewers, James C. and Michael W. So thank you, gentlemen, both. We've got a nice selection of ICs here and some breadboard jumpers. So we're going to use them today, and we're going to put together a circuit with the LM393, which is a comparator. Comparator is somewhat like an op amp. But the difference is in its output stage. The output stage of an op amp is designed to be linear. You know, um, it uses feedback resistors to control the gain so you can have a little output and a little more, a little more, a little more. Whereas a comparator's output stage is designed to be binary. It's on or it's off. It's always in either saturation or cutoff. There's, there's no in between. So let's start off by making a simple comparator that you could use say if you have uh, um, 1850 batteries and you want to make sure they don't fall below a, a certain voltage so let's put something together we got a breadboard and then we're going to need an LM393 Mmm, fresh. So we'll pop him over here like so. Now, there, if it'll focus, there's our pin out. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our negative input, that's pin 2, as our reference value. So if our positive input, pin 3, falls below our reference value, the output will switch on, that's pin one, and sync a current. Are you with me so far? Good. So to begin this, we are simply gonna start with uh, two resistors. Does not matter what they are. In our case, as long as they're the same value. And we're gonna create a voltage divider. And this is how we're going to set our reference. Our input voltage for the circuit is coming from the power supply. And it is set at 10 volts. So by creating a voltage divider, let me move this like this, with <laughs> 10 of these all, a voltage divider with two equal resistors, we are doing what? We're splitting it in half, okay? So now we need a little something something to come over here from pin two. Look at that, look at that. Perfect, like it was made for it. Just like that, nothing to it, okay? Then we will take our pin 4 and set it to ground. Pin 8 is our VCC. A little something like that. Okay. Now we're going to set up our input here. So for input we're going to use a potentiometer. Doesn't matter again what size you use. Really really doesn't. So we'll put that in like that. And then See if that guy's long enough. Nope, it's a little too short. So I might have to I might have to bend one of these guys here. Breadboard jumpers are great. It saves you from cutting and stripping way too much wire. Okay. 
So there's our input potentiometer. Now we need to bring that over to pin three. Let's see if we have enough room to do that here. Not quite, but here's what we'll do. We'll just move our potentiometer over. No worries, right? Just like that. This focused better be. Then we can move this stuff here over, no problem at all. This is a super easy circuit to put together, and a comparator like this is really a great circuit to have. Very useful. Okay, so we've got our reference here at pin 2, our input at pin 3, and then we need an output. So we will bring, this is a 470 ohm resistor, which I'm using for current limiting. Bring that down from VCC. And there's our LED. Now hopefully I can find one more jumper that fits the size. Not too small. How about a yeller? How about old yeller? One off, so here's what we'll do. We'll just move over here like this. Okay. So everything is together now. Let's zoom in a little bit. So here's our comparator chip. Remember, pin 1 is our output, pin 2 is our reference, pin 3 is our input, pin 4 is ground, and pin 8 is VCC. There's a second comparator over here on this side, but we're not using it. We've created a voltage divider, which will effectively cut our input voltage in half, and we're using that to set our reference voltage. Then we have a potentiometer here that we're going to use as our input and if our input falls below our reference voltage it should light our LED. So let's hook everything up and we'll see what we get. Boom! It's lit. Now it's off. So here's what we'll do. We will bring in a meter, bring in the fluke, and we'll go over some voltages. Just so everybody knows where we're talking about, where we're coming from. So we're at 10.09 volts. That is our input voltage. Now, here's our reference voltage. 5.04. Okay. Here is our, our input voltage to the circuit. 5.81. So it is above our 5.04. Now, I can hold this. You know, sometimes I just wish for another hand, right? All right, so we adjust this guy here. Our LED comes on. And where is our input voltage now? 4.63, which is below. Yeah, I know it's backwards. It doesn't matter. It is below. You don't want to stick there, do you? It is below our reference voltage. Come on. Okay. All right. So watch this. Let's see if we can turn it up. 5.04. So look at that. A couple millivolts off. That's pretty doggone accurate. Again, this would make a very useful circuit for making sure that you have sensitive batteries like LiPos that uh, don't go under voltage. Now, this has a crap ton of other uses. It is used in AD converters, um, pulse square wave time delay, uh, voltage controlled oscillators, clock generators. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see some more comparator type circuits, let me know. We can certainly make them. 
I'm here to, you know, kind of give you guys what you want. So let me know what you want. Again, thanks to Michael and James. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to share and subscribe. Don't feel free to comment down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace on earth and goodwill towards men. Merry Christmas.